Hi guys, so welcome to part two. In this part, we are going to take the same chord progression which we did earlier. And now add a bass line to it in the left hand. So before I introduce the bass line, let's just look at what we've done already to make the right hand very interesting and very human sounding, if you will. We took the chords and added our dynamics with, you know, legato, staccato embellishments or using volume, simple volume and then try to emulate the drummer and imagine very simple drum grooves to kind of figure out where we play amidst all that. And if you haven't already, do check out part 1. It is very important before you get to part 2 because part 2 we are going to develop hand independence, we are going to look at a bass line. There's going to be a lot of very different kinds of work but based on the chords developed in part 1. So the chords again... C major, C seventh over E, F major over F, and then F minor over A flat bass. Okay, F minor slash A flat. Okay. Now the left hand in the earlier part was just holding roots. So a great way to make any chord pattern sound unique is to just kind of bring about a bass line and kind of also look at the bass line as its own melody you should obviously have a melody over these chords like But that melody will work great, I guess, with a vocal line with lyrics. But why can't the bass also have its own melody, which we officially now end up calling as a bass line or, yeah, a bass line, if you will. So I'll play you the bass line and then we are going to learn that and learn it really well. If you haven't already, do keep your keyboards with you or maybe a notebook or something like that. So you can learn along in this lesson. Okay, I'm going to play it and then break it down and then we are going to learn it together. Okay, so over each chord I'm kind of playing, weaving in like this melody. Pam. That's a nice thing to do before you actually learn it. Try to isolate the bass line and sing it. Even if you don't play it with me, try to sing it along. Let's do it together. Bum. Keep the time feel going, which is eighth note swing, right? Tack, 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 one and two and three and four and one. Ta -da, ta -da. That's pretty much the whole groove. Very swing, eighth notes or shuffle feel. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, one and two and three. So that's the underlying time feel of this entire lesson. So you go C D D flat E C E F F G A flat B flat C Okay, let's break that down. A one, two, three, four, a one, two. Now, if you're a player who does not have 88 keys, a quick trick for you guys would be to transpose the 61 key keyboard or the smaller key range keyboard to maybe... Uh, minus 12. Minus 12 will take it down an octave. So what was once this will now become 
this you don't have you don't need those extra keys you can just transpose it down and i guess the samples will react accordingly so you go don't quite like that sound i prefer the deeper option parare boom pop okay babare ram pam okay so now while you do this you're going to need to play the same chords which we learnt all through this series so far these ones with the bass line so i'm going to try and break it down as best as possible you can also see the notation which we've given um which you can even download on our patreon so do head over there it'll also be a great support to our channel and coming back to the bass if you count it you can actually bring about where the hits are you know with respect to the eighth note time feel as we call it that's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so it's totally like a four bar bass line because it's a four bar chord chord sequence 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 right also observe that there are two hits which are staccato while all the others are legato that also gives it its own personality so you go 1 and 2 and 3 and the first hit will always be staccato okay 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 okay so you have to now do that with the right hand something like this bum parare ru chara f major parara f minor b c major parara c bass e bass Okay, so you have to figure out a way to play that and this together. So I would suggest start with the roots first, the staccato, staccato bass. Okay, just keep that going. Now, whenever you've got that, bring in some legato. Keep the staccato right hand. So it's sort of legato left, staccato right. And now slowly but surely, just isolate that. Bam, ba ba bam. So ultimately, what a bass is always doing, it's respecting the roots of each chord. It's not going to go away from the roots at the strong beats of the bar. That would imply beats number one. yeah beat 1 basically where the chords change which is generally at beat 1 so the bass will always respect the root or the bass note of the chord you know but it can have its fun at the other beat so that's exactly what's happening we are doing c d d flat e so it's a passing chromatic climb from the d going to the e flat and then e and e is the landing of the c 7th over e chord which is the second chord let's do that again Just do only that. Okay. Now I need to approach F. How do we approach F? I'll just show you. Okay. Pa da re da pa bum. Okay. Pa da re C E F E C E F again. E C E F. with the chords f and then pa ba 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 okay what is that that's f minor or rather uh, f major approaching f minor and then that going back to c so bam bam this just get f major to f minor pa da re okay just that pa da re that 
quite a bit of independence right bam 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 ba ba bam ba de de ba ba so ending ba 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 de de ba ba again ba de de ba de again so now back to the whole equation with everything now let me try and sing the bass notes bam ba de de focus on your legato staccato interplay stem parade long shot parade do long shot parade do taram parade da da parade pa parade parade do ba and don't forget your right hand articulation right which you learned in the last lesson 1 2 3 so right now i am approaching the snare drum hits accordingly so at the 2 and the 4 so slightly trickier right guys so before i conclude i'm just going to just play it without talking for maybe a few seconds at the end of the video so you could follow along or instead of you know just scrolling before and after you can just go to that point of the video and try to play along and uh, i'll sign off here thanks for watching the lesson and uh, don't forget to head over to the next part part 3 after you've finished part 1 and part 2 because it's just a series we are going to continue it and eventually it's going to hopefully give you the resources or the tools to make your chord playing really stand out from the crowd like i said at the very beginning if there are 100 people who can do this stuff i want you to be in the top 10 okay and don't forget to subscribe to our channel download my handwritten notes on patreon as a pdf it's ready for you and uh, what else can you do like share comment whatever you want to do to help our channel grow i'm now going to uh, not talk and just play this whole thing with the bass line with some right hand art- articulations as slow as i can and hopefully you've learned something from this chapter